So many people today are so focused on what is the right formula to pray so that I can get my breakthrough. What is the A to Z of getting my miracle or following the right strategy in prayer and things like that. But can I tell you something? Yes, there are certain effective principles in praying. Like the Bible talks about how when you pray according to God's will, He hears us and when He hears us, we have the confidence that He will answer us. Right? You understand that we have to pray according to God's will. You can't pray against God's will and expect God to answer. That's true, right? But there are certain principles like that. Of course, there's also the principle which I have follow uh, a lot on how praying based on the word of God is so powerful and effective. So there are certain strategies and I can talk to you more about it in the days to come. But today I'm telling you one important, important truth that a lot of people miss out. They are focused so much on the strategy and the formula that they have missed out on the element that prayer is as simple as pouring your heart to God. They're focused so much on the strategy. A lot of Christians are focusing only on, okay, fine, you know, this is the right way to pray. This is the right formula to approach with. And then you will see the result. I'm sorry, no. Stay tuned because I'm going to share an important word with all of you today. Hey guys, it's such a joy for me to be with all of you today. Thank you so much for dropping by. I just want to decree and declare that God has amazing things in store for you as well. Before I go into the word that I have in store for you, I encourage you to uh, like, comment, share and subscribe. Check out my daily podcast, which will be a great blessing to you, which is trending across the globe for the glory of God. Check out my weekly radio program. Check out my weekly pro uh, podcast, Dubbed into Tamil. Check out my uh, books, especially my latest one, Unveil Your Purpose, which will help you uh, walk in your purpose. Check out my daily content on social media. All details are in the description. You can check out my website. We'd we'll love to connect with you. And thank you so much for dropping by as well. Today, I'm going to talk about an important thing. What is the right formula of prayer? And I'm telling you that there is no such thing as a formula when it comes to prayer. Because people have put this formula, people have put these strategies, people are focused so much on the A to Z plan, on how to get your miracle, your breakthrough, that people are missed out, that real prayer from the bottom of your heart, from the bottom of your mind, from the bottom of your soul, is pouring your heart with God. From the bottom of your heart, are you transparent before God? Are you hiding your emotions? Are you hiding your pain? Are you, are you putting a face before God saying, God, you know what? I'm just following these rules and praying. Or are you pouring your heart out to God? The reason why many people are not receiving from God is because they are not open before God. They are not transparent before God. They are following these so-called, uh, they put these masks on before God and say, God, you know what? I am just following all the formula. You have to be open before God to receive. If I have a wound and I just cover it up, it's not going to heal it. I need to deal with it. And I'm telling you, if you want to talk with God about a problem, go to Him just like that. Don't go after formula. Just be yourself. Understand that God is not a distant figure. God is not an angry person. God is your dad. Romans chapter 8 verse 15 talks about how today because of what Jesus has done, you see that you and I are now a children of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, by which we call him Abba Father, which means Daddy God. He is not just a fatherly strict figure or like when we say like father. No, not like that. He is your dad. Talk to him like you talk to your dad. I still remember there was a time when I was overhearing a conversation where uh, uh, this this guy, he, he had this belief that he and his close associates were the only ones going to heaven. Everybody else is going to hell. That, 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 that's the other extreme, you know. Some not cases are there like that. And this guy was telling this other person, you know what, God will hear your prayer only if you pray Bible verses. Now, 
I'm telling you, like I said before, I believe in the power of praying according to God's word. Okay, there is a lot of power in that. But I was thinking to a person who has never touched the Bible in their life, and you're saying, God is going to talk to you only if you pray Bible verses. And that person is like, I don't know Bible verses. I'm sorry, you cannot talk to God. God will not talk to you. I mean, that would put people off. You mean I need to read this full Bible? Only then I will be qualified enough to pray to my God? God is your dad. You don't start talking to your earthly parents, you know, with the proper sentences the day you start talking. You talk to them like with your emotions and you, you start saying one or two words and, you know, and, 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 and your earthly parents are like, wow, and awesome and stuff like that. Why? Because you, they, they're not expecting you to speak full form sentences in the beginning. God is not looking for strategies and formulas. He's looking for people who have a genuine heart. Because I'm telling you, people can come and quote 127 Bible verses. But sometimes you can quote 127 Bible verses and still not have a genuine relationship with God. I can come here and quote so many Bible verses after Bible verses. If it does not get into you and does not make sense to you, there is of no use. I'd rather take one verse and come and preach it to you than to come and give you a million verses at one go. When I was uh, young, I was uh, scared of cockroaches. <laughs> okay, so um, I was in a room and a cockroach came into the room and I, I screamed from the top of my you know, like voice. And my dad came running thinking I got an electric shock and he was shocked to see that it was just a cockroach. Okay, but now just imagine that all that caught my dad's attention was my scream. Imagine I had to get my dad's attention by speaking in a certain way, like a rule, and say, Oh, my father, who art at home, I call unto thee from whence my help cometh from. By the time I finish saying my statement, I will die of the electric shock, right? Why? Because he's my dad, which means I scream and I get his attention. Because he, for him, I'm his son, his child. I want you to understand, if your earthly dad is so good, how much more good is your heavenly good, good dad? Think about it. Think about it, guys. God is not after formula. He's after your heart. When you look at 1 Samuel chapter 1, it says, Samuel was, uh, sorry, Hannah was so sad that she cried and was praying to the Lord. She was crying. When you look at uh, 2 Kings chapter 20, when Hezekiah got, uh, you know, sick and he was in his deadbed and uh, prophet uh, Isaiah came and gave the word that he's going to die. This is what the Bible says. That he wept and he cried to the Lord. He prayed to the Lord and wept. When you look at verse 2 and verse 3. They didn't put out some fancy words and stuff like that. When, when, when we look at Hannah, she, she didn't have any words. When you look at Hezekiah, he said a few words and he started crying. I want you to understand. Be yourself before God. If you want to cry, cry. You don't have words, you want to just groan, groan. I'm going to talk about that later uh, in one of the future episodes. But I want to tell you something. You, you, what is your expression before God? You don't need to bring it out with words. Sometimes you need to understand. You be yourself. God understands. Sometimes I don't feel, I don't have words that can come out of my mouth. And I'm telling you, if I'm just crying to the Lord, God hears it. If I'm groaning, God hears it. If I'm in pain, God hears it. If I'm screaming, God hears it. If I'm just, you know, like lost in my mind, God understands. So stop putting a face mask in front of you to act like everything is fine before God and be yourself before God and then you will see the difference. It's not about a formula. It's about your heart. It's not about the posture. 
God is more interested in the posture of your heart than in the posture of your body when you pray. Because people focus only on the formula, the strategy and the posture and things like that. No, listen, you can have a wonderful choice of words and still be disconnected from God and let that not be you. Amen? So I pray that this word will go forth in the name of Jesus, that to those watching, listening from around the world, let them understand the power that they have and let them be genuinely transparent before God. Let them not put a face mask in front of God, acting like everything is fine, but let them be open, O oh God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, let them tap into that idea that it's not about the right formula, but it's about being in the right form of your heart that makes the difference. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you so much, guys, for dropping by. Uh, do like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, check out my daily podcast. Check out my weekly radio program. Check out my weekly uh, podcast, Dubbed Into Tamil. Check out my books, especially my latest one, Unveil Your Purpose. Uh, follow me on social media for daily content. Check out my website. Check out all other details in the description. If you'd like to support the ministry financially, would love to. Uh, you know, I, I would encourage you to do that so that we will be able to reach more people with this good news as well. So thank you so much and I will see you back very soon. God bless you. If your heart stops beating now, do you know where you're going? If you came face to face with death now, do you know where you're going? And this is not a message of condemnation. This is a message of hope. There is a God who loves you so much. He sent his only son Jesus Christ to come down and pay a heavy price by shedding every drop of his blood on the cross. Thank you for dying for my sins. When you believe in him, you have free gift of salvation for you. That assures us that we will go to heaven when we die instead of suffering in hell forever. I just encourage you today to make the simple step of faith and say, Jesus, I thank you for what you did on the cross. Thank you for giving me this gift of eternal life.